Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Cyberlab and today will be another video about Proxmox, yes. If you didn't like the previous videos about Proxmox, you don't gonna like this one, but if you like, so another video about Proxmox. This video will be number 9, where we're gonna show how you can integrate the firewall. And you're gonna ask why I want to integrate the firewall. And it's really simple, you want protection. You want that if someone is in your network, they will not have access for all your ports. Or if someone access your network by any reason, and you don't want that this happen, you are protected against of invasion for different ports. But if you are watching this video as the first time and you didn't watch any video for Proxmox before, so I suggest you to see my videos or my previous videos where I show how to install Proxmox, how to configure it and how to do all the setups. So remember, this video is number 9, not number 1. So if you didn't watch the previous one, I suggest you have a look at the list. Anyway, continue. If you like this idea and want to know a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel, and let's see how we can do it. So before I start to show how you can set up your firewall in your data center, your node, or your containers or virtual machines. I'm gonna show what system that I use. In this case, I have a Proxmox install and I have only one node. In my node, I have uh, this computer. This is working a physical computer, not in a virtual machine, because I tried to use a virtual machine, didn't work so well. Also, I have some containers installed. I have some templates of containers, some virtual machines, templates of virtual machines, and I have uh, my file system. Here I have my local and my local LVM, where I have all my iOS hard drive. And this one is shared between my iOS hard drive, what I do advise you don't use so much. Also I have my ZFS, but anyway, it's not affect ourself. What we're gonna do, we're gonna come here in our data center. Here in our data center, if I come here in the option for firewall, here in firewall I can set up all my rules, so I can add new rules or I can delete new rules, or I can come here options and here I can set up to enable my firewall or not enable my firewall. Then you're gonna ask Alan, I can come here enable my firewall straight away? And I say yes, you can do it, but you're gonna lose access for your portal. Because this portal is working with the port 8006, if you enable your firewall straight away here, you're not gonna have access to for this port 8006, therefore you're gonna not access it anymore. Only way to recover it, you go physically in your machine and that uh, you disenable your firewall. So it's not worth to do it at this stage. First, we need to add some configuration, or not some rules. There you can start to set up your firewall. Other thing that you need to know is what kind of uh, interface that you are using. As a standard, they will have uh, one interface here when I come here network, this uh, VMBR0, where it's connected directly for my network card. And remember, this one is configured once that you configure your Proxmox. But uh, if you delete it and create another uh, bridge or another connections for your system, in this case, you need to look exactly what the name of your interface that you want to use. My in case, I will use VMBR0, so it's fine. I come here in my data center, in my firewall and I will add a row. So I come here, I put in, accept. The interface will put VMBR0, I will enable it. I have some macro, not yet because I'm using the port 8006, so I don't use this part and I put protocol. Protocol, I will use TCP protocol and I use port 8006 and the same thing, 8006. And now source, I don't need to set up a source, I suggest to you to set up if you have only one machine to access this uh, Proxmox. I will show in the next step, next configuration. But in this case, I will put add. Here it has been add. Let's open our CMD and try to pin it only to see what's gonna happen once that uh, we enable our firewall. So now I can come here and put ping and my IP address 192.168.1.39 and start shipping, they will have all the pins work quite well, no problem at all. So now I come here and uh, enable my firewall. I put option here, enable, enable and okay. If you didn't add this port, at this stage you're gonna have lost access for your 
Proxmox, so it's really important for you to have this port 8006. So now I will check if my firewall is really working. In this way, I can come here my CMD and run exactly the same step. And now after a few seconds, I try to pin it again, and now I don't have access for my pin. Why? Because this firewall has been enabled. Before it was work quite well, and now I don't have any more access. So what can I do? I can come here and add another rule. To add another rule, we're gonna come here, in, accept the same interface. So we'll put vmbr0, br0. Now we'll put enable. Now we'll select protocol, I will put as a EMCP and the destination. Now I will configure my destination only for this machine that I use have access. In my case, this machine and with uh, 237, so we'll put 192.168.1.237 slash 32. If I want to have a range of IPs, I will put 24, or if I want to have everything, I will put zero. But in my case, I want only this specific machine, so we'll put 32 and source, I will not leave any source and put add. Now I have the way to do ping my system. So I come here and try to do ping. Sometimes they take one or two seconds to enable this uh, firewall, but uh, soon they will be working, don't worry about it. Now I have my firewall working. Now suppose I want to access my Proxmox using the SSH. So now I can come here in my node and firewall and add a new permission. To add, I will add my SSH in my Sauber Lab. So I will allow that I have access from this node using the SSH. So I will come here in the face, exactly the same, VMBR0. And now macro, in this case, I want the SSH. So SSH and I put secure shelf. I need to set up anything else? No, but if you want, you can define your source. In my case, I will not define this case and I put add. Once that I enable this SSH and come here, my option is enable my firewall. I can open my put and try to access my node using the SSH. So I'll put 192.168.1.39 and I try to access it. So it means that I have access for it. If I log in as a root, put my password, and now I have access for this system without any problem. So it's totally fine for me. But imagine that I want to activate my firewall in one of my nodes. I come here, ping, and I don't have anything set up. I come here in my, uh, come here in my summaries, come here in my console, and I have my Ubuntu already login. I will put IP address, and I run, I, and I know that this container is running in IP 99. So let's do something. Let's uh, remove this MC. So I cannot pin anything in my system. If I try to pin the same system, they will not allow me to pin because they lost the traffic. But if I try to pin my container as port 99, they will work or not? Let's see. So if I tape 99 here and I put to pin, and it's pin without any problem. But if I try to do a pin in my uh, data center, they don't work. But if I try to do in my container, they work. Why it happened? Because basically they have a different system. Imagine that uh, this one will have all restrictions that affect the data center and will affect the node consecutively, but they will not affect the containers because all the containers will work as a separate system. If you set up that you allowed some ports to open your data center, not necessarily that it will be exactly the same port for your containers or for your virtual machine. So let's see if it's really this idea or not. I put firewall option and enable my firewall. So I want to have block everything and I didn't add any rules. So now I try to pin exactly the same IP address and now I don't have access for it anymore. So it means that if I want to pin this system, I will need to add here interface and here in my interface. But because I'm not using my node or my data center and my network will be a little bit different. So let's close it, look for my network and now I'm using net zero. So I come here in my firewall again, add, I put net zero, enable it, protocol, IMC, and I put add. So if I try to pin it, I will have access because I configured my firewall specific for this container. 
So resuming, if you didn't understand or didn't get this idea, basically if you do the configuration for data center, it will affect data center and it will affect node consequently, but the most data center. If I do any configuration both, it will not affect anything my virtual machines or my container. One of the containers or, or the virtual machine work with a port 8, other 443, and other ports that you want. And that's uh, you allowed only for the container, not for your data center or your node. They will work basically different or separate entities. So it's interesting once that you have different containers that you want to allow some different ports. So just to remember, if you have uh, configured your data center for all for your data center or for your node, not necessary that it will work the same configuration for your virtual machines or your container. So you need to consider those separately. If you like this video and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.